Um, I was having a thought tonight. Um, I'm an Uber driver. I don't know if I've ever shared that, but I'm an Uber driver. And um, I picked up a guy tonight. And uh, we just had this deep conversation. Um, it kind of started light, to be honest. He, he had mentioned um, his bones hurting because of the cold and stuff like that. And I was just sharing with him how uh, when I was younger, I didn't really understand what old people would say, how their uh, bones would start to ache whenever it started to get colder and started to rain and, and things of that nature. Um, we kind of just went from there, you know, joking around about it. But um, I asked him just randomly. I just happened to ask him. I said, uh, when you were younger, you know, did you ever think you were really going to die? Um, the reason I asked him is because I know when I was younger, when I was like, you know, eight years old, six years old, whatever, 10 maybe, um, I I understood the concept of death pretty well, I felt like. But I just couldn't understand that one day I would die personally. It was like the hardest thing to understand that, you know, people around me would die. Um, people I don't know would die. But the, to understand that myself, my own soul, you know, whoever I am, one day my body would be dead and I would be with God. And I, I already understood um, that God existed. It wasn't like a foreign concept. Um, I understood he existed. And so... I just couldn't understand that one day I would die. Anyways, um, he's like, man, that's a, that's a really good question. And he kind of uh, smiled at that. He's like, yeah, no, I, he's like, I really did understand that I would die. And he said that he had, had many um, close encounters with death and getting hurt. And um, essentially, um, he told me that he had a, he actually had terminal cancer. Um, and he, he said that he had, he, they had told him two and a half years ago that um, he was, he was, going to die in about two and a half years um considering all that the factors of his body and whatnot and so he said he was at that moment of two and a half years so he said literally it could be any day he said that he had a good heart of all the things in in his body that were good that was the one organ left that was well so god had really graced him to have a good heart um quite literally and um we, we just had this this beautiful conversation um just about these different things and the thing I just asked him at the end, though, was, um, you know, did he know Christ? They, you know, I, I said, uh, you know, soon, you know, you, you know this, that you're going to go be with Jesus. Um, and I'd be remiss to ask you um, to let you get out this car and not ask you. And um, we just had this good conversation. Uh, you know, I don't want to go into the whole conversation, but I think at the end of it all, he, he acknowledged, you know, these things and um he, he was just stating that essentially the one thing he kind of wondered was um not so much about god himself but just about why god would let things happen you know bad things and good things happen um but whatever the conversation was it ended good you know um and i really felt like it was an impactful conversation to have um he really appreciated it i could tell but I think the thing that's interesting, the reason I share all that is to say is that there's a lot of things in life that we, we discuss, um, that we think about, you know what I mean? Sports we watch, um, times we hang out, don't do much, just go to the pool, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Um, but it's something about death that really focuses our mind to um, focus on the things that matter the most. And to really take in the things that maybe we put off, you know what I mean? The things, the spring cleaning, uh, quote unquote, the things that we just kind of keep brushing off. And I I was thinking about Psalms 90 after he got out the car and it really put things into perspective. I remember uh, somebody told me a long time ago, uh, a few, maybe eight, 10 years ago, they said, Tramel, you talk a lot about death in your music. You, you, you speak about death too much and this is a christian that said this to me and um i just had, happened to tell him i was like i just that's the thing that god had made me recognize the most was um how how short life is and it just that had always been on my mind since i was young and um especially after i became a christian but i thought about the verse teach teach me the number of my days and um i wanted to go really read it and um, I read Psalms uh, 90 and Psalms 39 as well. But in Psalms 90, um, I like how it said, teach me the number 
my days so that I may apply um, my heart to wisdom or my life to wisdom. And um, I really just like, wow, that really just solidified a lot of thoughts I had been having a, for a long time, um, listening to people's near-death experiences or how people change their life. I'm long story short, man. Um, you know, I can be long winded with these videos. Um, but, uh, I guess this all to say is that the things that matter most, man, we, we have to focus on it right now because we don't know how much longer we have. We don't know, um, you know what I mean? If we get 10 years, 20 years, 10 months, 20 days, whatever it is. But, um, even if it is 50, 60 years that God gives us, um, why would we want to waste that? It said above that scripture in Psalm 90 that like even man at his best state, at his best age, best state of life is altogether vanity. Everything he does is vain. And, um, you know, the wisdom that's shown throughout scriptures is the man who, who really seeks God and um, worships him and rejoices in, in, in God. That's the, the wise man, no matter if he's young or old. And he, you know, David's basically saying like, Help me to do this right now. Help me to do this in my youth. Help me to do this when I'm old. Help me to apply my heart to you, God, that I may not stray from you, that I may apply my whole heart to wisdom as if I was about to die, as if knowing the day of my death so I can um, be focused while I live. And that's the same thing in the Apostle Paul says um, in, in, in 1 Corinthians 15. And um, I just really want to share that with you. I pray that we will live lives that really reflect that we we know God. We don't just think of him as a concept, but we know God. We know the Jesus, the Yeshua, whom we serve and will one day be with. And he's going to be with our family members and friends and these strangers that he made in his image too. And so I just pray that we will move with that vigor and that, that, um, that care of our life. So I pray that this uh, message blessed you guys, man. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Um, I love you guys, man. Um, in the name of Yeshua, be blessed. Shalom.